Hi there, Paolo. I'm really happy to see these essays from you. Well done. Let's get right into it. Let's uh, check this out. Traditional schooling. Okay, what did you have to say? It is argued that our modern school education is... Okay, hold on a second. Now, let's just clear up the difference between boring and bored. Boring is active. It means the thing that creates the emotion, and bored is the result. It's the emotion you feel after someone has bored you okay so what you want to say is that education is boring because that's what's creating the emotion okay so let's try it again it is argued that our modern school education is boring and stifling which leads to uh, affecting the natural talents of children i strongly believe that nowadays there are plenty of new sources to give a new education system to young people. Moreover, traditional schools, yeah, traditional school is. Okay, fine, giving not less, but fewer benefits as compared to alternative new types S of education. The paragraph is nice, Paolo, but the grammar needs to be um, a little more controlled, okay? I want you to be a little more aware of the grammar when you're writing. All right, moving on. Firstly, I agree that government should put more effort, not efforts, but effort, just in general, more effort and investment in new public education. It is known that there are many schools which have old instruments and classes, which, here you needed a which, need to be renewed. Uh, for instance, each student should have, should know, should use a personal computer to work on during the lesson instead and um oh no hang on this. how about this but instead most of the students need to share one personal computer um among here among three persons furthermore the most alternative to school education might be to study their program courses online no let's try this again against the grammar furthermore uh the most common that's a good way to say this. The most common alternative to school education might be to study program courses online. By doing this, pupils are able to learn how to manage the time and organize their schedule during the day. Despite changing the old education, no, um, uh, even though, you don't mean despite here, you mean even though changing this old education system is really hard, I think a professor should sustain as much as possible this education revolution. I wouldn't use the word sustain here. I would say that they should encourage, they should support the, the evolution and the change, the revolution. Okay, now, um, this, this paragraph seems to me to uh, be a little confused. Because really, what's the question? The first question is, um, are there alternatives? Did you really talk about them? Not really. I mean, you said that they should put more effort. You said there should be new computers. And you said something about courses online. Is that really an evolu uh, education revolution? Are you really supporting this idea? I don't really think so. Because you can still have um, old-fashioned education even though courses are online. I mean, if the courses are taught in a way that is old-fashioned then you know just because you're doing it over Skype or whatever other program doesn't all of a sudden make it you know kind of revolutionary does it I'm just thinking uh, so I'm not really convinced with your arguments here that's my point there I mean they're okay but they're not the most convincing I've ever heard give me a minute okay secondly I believe that traditional schools school all right could harm talents all right how about this secondly i believe that traditional school could harm the talents of our students most of the traditional schools still use no d here old methods for teaching in fact it is known that many teachers prefer to do more lectures in class without practice in a laboratory full stop by doing this comma students could lose interest in the subject and have less creativity. Moreover, traditional schools have classes with too many students, and this will lead to having, ing, less attention uh, directed to their talents and a lack of developing their intelligence. Okay? Fine. 
In conclusion, I strongly think that the institutions and professors should plan to have a new system of education by introducing new sources. In addition, education has an important role in our lives. Thus, all the students need to be motivated to improve their creative and skills. All right. Honestly, I would have stopped here. Okay. Um, this is a little superfluous. You didn't need this last sentence. So it should be something like, in conclusion, I strongly think that institutions and professors should plan to have a new system of education by introducing new sources. Um, and then in future, perhaps uh, there'll be a an education revolution where all classes are taught online and none in person, something like that. But I didn't really feel like this last sentence fit your paragraph in the way that you were developing it. Okay, nice job. There were some really nice elements to this. So why don't we move on now to your second essay? Okay, so just to give you a heads up, it's really helpful if you um, attach the image the, the chart or the diagram, whatever it is, so I can see it. But okay, let's get right into it. The pie charts demonstrate information. No, no, they don't. The pie charts provide information about council expenses without the in education, community care, social services, environment, leisure, and other expenditures by three specific, no A L L Y, regions. And then you see what they are in the year of 2014. Fine. Overall, it can be seen from the charts that. The most expenditures done were education and leisure by the three regions. In contrast, the lowest cost spent in social services was made by Derbyshire. In addition, Yorkshire and Derbyshire had a similar expenditure on community care during the period shown. Firstly, in the region of Yorkshire, the major expenditure was in education at around 30%. Moreover, the second largest cost was spent uh, spent was leisure at approximately 25%, whereas environment expenses accounted only for here for 10% of the total cost in the year 2014. You didn't even need this here. Secondly, regarding no, get rid of this. Regarding Derbyshire, comma, the most, the highest, or the greatest, not the most expense, but the greatest expense was made. Uh, for leisure, yeah, four would probably be better here, at around 30%. In addition, 25% of expenditures, S, uh, was, mm, this is awkward. How do we say this in a nice way? 25% um, of expenditures was, ah, allocated or was allotted to education. Allotted or allocated to education, while less than 3% was spent on here social services finally in lancashire the two largest expenditures were here because it's two so it's were made in education and leisure at both at change of word order that both at 30 percent respectively furthermore it can be shown that community care uh social services environment you know here and environment had an equal cost get rid of this here expenditures at around 10 percent all right, so there were some elements of this that I really liked, but I do want you to be careful of um, everything I'm pretty much talking about here. Uh, primarily, words you use to describe your data. I liked this on the whole, um, so good work. But um, what I want you to do now, please stop, is I want you to uh, correct these essays. I want you to add the errors to your error correction list. Send everything back to us. Uh, ideally within the next day because it's so important to like update your essays right after getting this video correction and you know correcting the mistakes and kind of rereading them having them corrected and then of course to apply everything you've learned um when you write a new essay so great job keep on working i'm really excited for you so i will um i'll basically i'll be here and i really want to see these next essays from you